today we are setting the iOS simulator in the development build. So first thing you're going to do is go to Xcode and install Xcode. If you haven't done that already, do that. I already have it installed, so we are good to go. Now once Xcode is open, we're going to go up here. We're going to do command comma into the settings and we're going to go into the locations. We're going to make sure this is installed, the command line tools. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to components and then we're going to make sure we have the iPhone simulator. This is the simulator that we're going to run it on. Make sure that's installed. Now back at the directions, we just did steps two and three. So now we are going to install Watchman. So we're going to copy and paste this, open up our terminal and paste this in. And if you haven't already installed Homebrew, this is Brew, you can just go to Homebrew, install, and it pops up and you can install it here. Okay, so now that we did those two steps, we have two different options. We can follow this, create a development build. And so what this will do is basically install EAS, the CLI, and then we log into the account and then we use a command to take our app and send it over to the EAS or the Expo cloud. So then they have our build. Once they have our build, we can submit it to the app store. So we can do it uh, this way and we can also run this build uh, through the cloud or we can run it locally. We are gonna do it locally right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a project. Uh, we're opening up the terminal again and we'll just run it right here. We're gonna call this my app, uh, my app two just in case I already have a my app. Okay, once the app is ready, we're going to CD into the folder to my app, and then we're gonna open up our code editor. And then we're gonna do control shift tilde, or we're basically gonna run this command right here. And once that is ran, we're gonna do MPX expo prebuild. So I did have a small issue with the package manager. I basically had to update my node but basically by running npx expo prebuild, we are gonna generate the Android and the iOS folder, which we have already updated. And then once we have updated those, we can run npx expo run iOS. What this will do is pull up a simulator. Okay, we opened up the app and we got this error, the cannot open URL. And so the issue was we didn't have our server. So we ran the command npm start. So just type that in and then we'll have a server going and then it will, and then click on our app and we're good to go. And so now we have the app running on the iOS simulator.